magical world of solar. My name is Jay Warmke. This lab we're going to go ahead and install um, solar edge power optimizers on a Unirac system. Now the Unirac railing system is a commercial system that you can buy. There are a lot of other ones. I particularly like Iron Ridge, but this particular system uh, we will be mounting six um, optimizers. We will then mount a Solideck um, combiner box, or in this case, we'll use it as a junction box. It has a nice low profile so that it stays below the panels. It flushes out, flashes out very nicely. And then we'll put our panels onto the system just so you can see how those get mounted on as well. So stay tuned. Now we're going to go ahead and install a solar edge power optimizer. This unit is designed to connect directly to the panel. These two MC4 connectors will connect to the panel. Then these longer tails here will connect between the optimizers. So this bolts onto the top extruded groove of the rail. You just use a bolt and it uses a simple star washer to make the grounded connection. So we would slide the bolt in from the end if we want to mount it here. We use the star washer to make the connection between the rail and the unit. And then we're going to place this here, put the washer there, and then we'll drop that down onto the ground. So we'll take the nut, go ahead and mount it. And we'll torque this down to the proper torquing configuration for this demonstration. I'm not going to worry about that. And now this unit is mounted to the rail. Just make sure it doesn't interfere with the um, junction box on the solar panel. Now when you get ready to place your optimizers on the rails, you're going to want to place them about the same width apart as the width of your solar panels. So check your panels. Uh, modern day solar panels are going to be in the neighborhood of 40 inches wide if they're oriented portrait, such as demonstrated here, or 60, 65 inches uh, if they're going to be landscape. So you'll want to place those optimizers on the rails. In this instance, if we're using this panel, about 40 inches, 41 and a half inches apart, but you don't want to place them right in the center of the panel where the junction box is located because that junction box may stick down and interfere with the optimizer. So offset them just a bit, but set them apart about, in this case, 41 and a half inches apart. Now I've already connected up five other optimizers. So we're coming with our string of optimizers. So we'll take the female, we'll connect it to the male lead here. You'll click those together. We'll dress out our cable. And then when you get to the last optimizer in the string, you will have, in this case, the negative or the female connection at this side. And then we've run a jumper from the male or the positive connection on the other side. So we have that all the way here. Now we could cut this and bring it into our, our junction box but then you would essentially ruin, ruin the optimizer. So first what we'll do is we'll make a, a jumper between this unit and where we're going to connect it in to the junction box. Okay, now we're going to try and make a jumper from the female connector that's at the end of the string of the optimizers. And in order to continue this on, we're going to have to put a male MC4 connector onto this bare piece of wire for, which is an MC4. So the male connector, there's a barrel that fits within it. And then we will use this crimping tool. It's important that the teeth are in the proper location. We want the barrel to fit in that little cradle it in down at the bottom. We're going to put this in here. We'll feed that in. And then this clamps down and it will not release until it's made a proper crimp. And the crimp on that is quite dramatic. It's a 25 year connection. At which point 
we'll take this piece, feed it down over the wire. We'll push this barrel inside the connector until you hear it click. Makes a good solid connection. Then we'll tighten this down. And then these two tools are designed to make the final connection. We can fit this one in like this. And then this one fits over here. And then just simply tighten it down until it strips. It'll be like the gas cap on your car. It'll start to click when it's fully tight. We now have a jumper that we can feed from the end of the string into the junction box. We'll connect this jumper here and we're ready to go. Before you cover over the optimizers with the solar panels, make sure that you record where each optimizer is located within the array. These little labels that are on the optimizers can either be removed and put onto a grid to be entered in later, or Solar Edge now has a uh, smartphone app that you can download, and you can just simply scan the codes into your phone and create your layout while everything is right there on the site. The last thing you need to do before mounting your panels on the rails is to manage the cables. So you can use either clips or you can use um, zip ties or whatever, but you want to make sure that all of your wires and cables are up off the surface of the roof. No good electrical inspector is going to pass your system if the cables are dragging down and touching the roof. So use your clips, manage it properly, and then once everything is trimmed out and ready, you can attach your panels to the uh, MC4 connectors on each optimizer and then mount them on the rails. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at BlueRockStation.com.